So today we'll be checking out the new attractions update in Little Cities. It's supposed to be like a new set of buildings that kind of elevate your city. <laughs> it also introduces a new rating that influences the actual like behavior with the population. Essentially every update like that is my excuse to actually progress in the game. <laughs> I'm currently working on a solution that I'm able to play at home VR because nowadays the situation is that whenever I record you just see me being here but nothing else. So what do we have? A new set of things beach gardens and it says to have better efficiency you need to build in certain areas like residential areas commercial discover the secret building pairing for bonus tap points oh i have some houses here so how that's gonna work okay this area around the actual thing it's like the diameter of effectiveness they don't necessarily have to be close to the areas i guess i'm just gonna make like a pretty coastline and then I'll see how it actually influences stuff. Style rating. Place attractions in your city to earn style points. Every 150 points earns you a style star, which will unlock new attractions. Okay, so it's like just a separate branch of customization. It's pretty easy though. You just fill in the blanks that you did not manage to do with the actual residential building or whatever it just takes one square which is very convenient concession so it's like a very similar thing when you upgrade the town level is this bringing something like besides that maybe more money overall there's also a max on star rating which is interesting like it has a limit for some reason i mean i'm not good with architecture so the stuff that I built might be a bit random. <laughs> How many gardens do I need? As many as possible. <laughs> so I pretty much know the gist of it. I just wonder what's gonna happen like at the end. Let me progress a little bit with the actual <laughs> city. An aquarium that boosts residential happiness. I don't need like much nowadays. It's a perfect city. <laughs> I'll build one anyways, just to have a variety. It kind of feels like we are not in the end game of the whole island but there's not much going on like in the beginning sometimes it's weird to me when things actually work <laughs> like i'm not used to that we just keep track of the power water anything that really they need it also feels like i maxed out the potential there's not much space left honestly it might be time to just you know start a new one <laughs> if i'll have time actually i'm just thinking if maxing out the style rating actually does something i mean I can fastly try to just build some bullshit. <laughs> Street decor. I mean, that would be very efficient. I wonder why they are so happy to have toilets nearby. Like, do they not have at home? I guess we're max. So we won't unlock other attractions, though I noticed when you switch the islands there is a limit, like it has 3 and here 5. Maybe it's due to the size or something, but it does not seem like I'm gonna be able to unlock everything here. I mean people are happy, which is the most important part of it. I feel like when the next update drops or when I'm actually gonna play, I just need to start over because this seems to be everything that I can do here, yeah. I mean, it's always good to see this game being updated, like, I support stuff like that. I'm getting constantly distracted, like, you can just be lost in what you're doing. Anyways, it's pretty cool, it just adds up to the experience and not sure if it brings more complexity because it's kinda like a bonus, but it's still nice nevertheless if you have an actual taste <laughs> and know the architecture.